why they were on the red carpet. Cast members for the sixth Harry Potter film were greeted by thousands of fans, and these are some die-hard fans, let me tell you. Mylene Class has more on the London premiere of Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Harry Potter premieres have a tradition of taking place in torrential downpours, and this year proved no different. This time, I cannot hope to destroy it alone. But there's plenty of differences about the latest film Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, which interweaves horror and humour in equal measure as the characters enter their sixth year amid the magic of Hogwarts school. These girls, they're going to kill me, Harry. I I'm hoping they're going to enjoy it. You know, I mean, I, I, I think there's a lot of new stuff in there to enjoy. I mean, I think in terms of the... the the relationship between Ron and Lavender, I think that's all very funny. I think this film's funnier, generally, than they have been before. I, actually, there are a couple of moments which I actually laughed out loud at, and I, I never, I don't really laugh at the Harry Potter films very much, you know, um, because I'm in them and I don't, you know. Apparently she's trying to smother you a love potion. Really? Hey, she's only interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. Okay, sorry, um... Kidding. I think it's aimed at a slightly older audience. I think um, the films are kind of growing up with their audience, if that makes sense. Like, I have younger siblings. I have, like, a brother who's sort of six or seven, and I wouldn't take him to see it. I think he'd be too scared. So it's definitely, like, it's more of a teen film. Ron is embroiled in romance, while the malevolence of Malfoy moves to a more complex level. <laughs> I know what you did, Malfoy. You hexed her, didn't you? It's fantastic, really, as me to, uh, for me personally to sort of get a chance to sink my teeth slightly more into into the young lad. We've sort of spent five years establishing him as a vile, uh, evil so and so, and this film was a real chance to sort of show some other sides of him, some vulnerability and some uh, some, some some guilt for the first time he ever feels that, which is which is nice. So yeah, it's a, a real joy for me. Slightly scary at first. I was a bit nervous about approaching him in a different uh, different light, but overall it was fantastic fun. Action. J.K. Rowling's sixth book puts new demands on both actors and director alike. Do you think that the comedy is needed to alleviate just how scary it is in places? Yeah, man, I tell you, this is true. That It's kind of a bit bipolar. You know, there's, on the one hand, we have all this light romance and snogging, and on the other hand, people are getting killed and bridges are being blown up. These are mad times we live in, mad! From promotions to potions, the cast and crew will switch back from premiere to production in the next few days as shooting continues on the final book, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, which will be split into two films. Now I know you'll see worse. The enthusiasm of Harry Potter fans at the world premieres usually guarantees a party atmosphere, a Halloween party atmosphere at least. And with two more Potter premieres to look forward to in the next two years, it'll be some time before London is finally free from the spell of J.K. Rowling's magical world. Mylene Class, CNN, London. All right, when we come back, is he racing towards the very top? Lance